Sam and the Red Kite by Nick Ellsworth. It was a really windy Saturday morning. Sam and his dad dressed warmly to go for a walk in the park. Sam didn't like walking that much, but what he did like were the huge sticky buns that dad bought in the park cafe. Come on, I'll race you to the top of the hill, shouted dad as they went into the park. Sam ran as hard as he could, and he just managed to overtake Dad before they reached the top. Hooray, I've won, yelled Sam, as he jumped around and waved his arms. Wow, look at that, said Dad, pointing up at the sky. The sky was full of brightly colored kites. There were square ones and round ones, huge ones and tiny ones. They were in every color you could think of. Some were polka dotted, some were striped, and some were quite plain. Some swooped and dove like great big birds. Others hovered in the air as if waiting for a gust of wind to make them dance. Sam gazed up in wonder. Suddenly he knew he wanted a kite more than anything else in the world. Dad, please can you buy me a kite? He asked. Well, maybe for your birthday, replied Dad. But that's weeks away, sighed Sam. Then you'll just have to wait, grinned Dad. A few days later, Sam was out shopping with Mom. As they turned a corner, he saw a large red kite in the toy store window. The kite was star-shaped and had tiny rockets painted all over it. Sam thought it was the best kite he had ever seen. Mom, look at that, he exclaimed, pressing his nose against the store window. Can I have it? Oh, please. Maybe for your birthday, replied Mom. That's what Dad said, but my birthday is weeks away, he groaned. That's something to look forward to then, isn't it, replied Mom. The next time they went shopping, Sam and Mom walked past the toy store again. But to Sam's horror, the kite was no longer there. It must have been sold. Sam was so disappointed that he decided to build his own kite. He wanted it to be just like the one in the shop. Luckily, Mom had an old red sheet he could use. First, he found some thin pieces of wood in the shed and glued them together in a star shape. Then. Mom cut up the sheet into the shape of a kite. Sam stretched it tightly over the frame while Mom glued the sheet carefully onto the wood. While the glue was drying, Sam ran upstairs to get a sticker book from his bedroom. There were no stickers of rockets in it, but there were lots of plane stickers. Sam stuck the little planes all over the kite making sure he didn't press too hard in case the sheet ripped. Finally, he got a large ball of string and tied one end into the middle of the frame. There, said Sam, looking at his finished kite proudly. Now it was time to see if it would fly. Sam grabbed the ball of string and started to run down the yard. Looking back, he saw that the kite was dragging along the ground. Fly, please fly! he urged, running a little faster. Suddenly, a big gust of wind lifted the kite into the air. Look, Mom, it's flying, cried Sam. But just as he spoke, another gust of wind caught the kite, and it flew straight into the branches of a tree. Oh, no, yelled Sam, tugging on the string to try to free it. The kite was really, truly stuck. So Sam tugged a little bit harder. Suddenly the kite fell out of the tree and lay limply on the ground. The frame had broken and the red sheet flapped noisily in the breeze. Sam was so upset he started to cry. Never mind, Sam, said Mom, putting a comforting arm around his shoulder. The next morning as Sam was getting dressed, he noticed something wrapped up at the foot of his bed. He tore off the paper and was amazed to see the beautiful red kite from the toy store. It's the red kite with the rockets, 
Sam gasped. But I thought it had been sold. It had. It was Dad who bought the kite, laughed Mom, coming into Sam's bedroom. We were going to give it to you for your birthday, but after yesterday's accident, we thought you should have it now. Thanks, Mom. It's the best present ever, he said, giving her a big hug. Running into the yard, Sam held on tightly to the string. The kite rose high into the sky above him. Sam couldn't wait to take his new kite to the park with Dad. They could watch it fly there for hours and hours. Sam knew that his kite would be the best one in the whole park.